Welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans, for the fans. And here's your host, Conrad Cushman. Welcome, welcome. This is Marty the Moth, Casals, Lucha Underground, and more. And you're watching Conrad Cushman and Everything Pro Wrestling. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Everything Pro Wrestling, it's your boys from the Everything College Basketball Podcast and Facebook group. I'm Josh Burton, letting you all know that if you like the college game, that there's only one spot to come find all you need to know. Yep, Josh, Peyton, and myself, Tyler, we are the three voices of ECB Podcast and Facebook group. Peyton, tell them where they can uh, find us and listen to us at. Well, Tyler, you can find us on Anchor, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, and all other podcast hosting sites. Also, go join our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups like Everything College Basketball. So if you want everything you need to know about the collegiate game or have a passion for it, there's only one spot that you need to check out on a weekly basis or a daily basis with the Facebook group. That's Everything College Basketball. Now let's get back to Conrad informing you on everything pro wrestling and the workings around it. Brother. Welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. This is not your host, Conrad Cushman. This is your boy, Robert Anderson. And we're here today to talk about some AEW on TNT starting October 2nd. Rob, it's been a long, long time, Rob. And uh, I'm letting Rob host this, just kind of getting back into the swing of things. Uh, we'll talk some pro wrestling. I don't know how long this is going to go. It may go five minutes, 10 minutes, 20. could go a half hour. I don't know at this point. But we're just going to talk whatever is going on in the world of pro wrestling. Do um, you want to talk AEW first? Yeah, might as well. Hmm. All right. Let's 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 bring up the uh, featured ad. All of this is brought to you by SEScoops.com. Your number one source you damn for right. wrestling news. You damn right. But let's talk about uh, AEW. Are you excited, number one? Oh, absolutely. I think this is going to be good, man. Two-hour time slot on Wednesdays, 8 to 10. Doesn't interfere with basketball like we originally thought it would with the Tuesday night slot, right? Nope. So this makes things a little bit better, but I'll save my point. I'll let you give (laughs) your thoughts because I have a a counterpoint to this. I know. I'm hyped up for it. It's going to be held live in the uh, Capital One Center or Capital One Arena in uh, Washington, D.C. Yeah, very first show, man. Tickets are going on sale Monday, July 29th for anybody in the local area who wishes to go or if you want to drive up and go. My brother's right down in that area. He should take it out. That's right. Brandon, holla at me, man. (laughs) Get some tickets for me. But, um, yeah, that's things are looking good, man. Hey, what's their tagline uh, for their advertising? Are you elite? Yes. Are you elite? Damn right I'm elite. And so is my uh, friends at Brain Buster Radio. Shout out to everybody at Brain Buster Radio. Make sure you check me out every Saturday on Brain Buster Radio. Got some good stuff coming up for you this week. Actually, I have a brand new idea that I may be debuting, too. Um, But, yeah, this is pretty good news, man. Right now, we have to look forward to AEW's All Out. Uh, we had some matches announced for it within the last day or two. So let's run through that card, too, real quick. Um, we'll just talk about the hype levels for it. Darby Allen versus Jimmy Havoc versus Joey Janela added to the card. A nice triple threat match. Does this need to be a hardcore match to you, Rob? It doesn't have to be, but I'm almost certain it will be because you got those three maniacs in there. <laughs> Crazy bastards. I apologize if there's children listening to this. I just with my uh, S there, <laughs> like the grandpa from Family Guy, uh, the pedo one. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, Herbert the pervert, <laughs> um, Darby Allen, Jimmy Havoc, Joey Janela. I think these guys are just gonna wreck house, yeah. Um, and Joey Janela deserves a nasty spot for that Enzo stuff. Like, what were you guys doing? I hope that was <laughs> please someone come out and say that was a work because number one, you were at a Blink 182 concert and you're over like 20. What's going on here, man? Yeah, hey, Blink 182 back in our day, though. I know, That's but like, come on, bro. Nobody wants to see Blink 182, they had a couple hits, but. And it's not even the original band. And Lil Wayne quit on stage. What's up with that? Because he's Lil Wayne. Probably syrup out of his mind. Uh, Jimmy Havoc, another crazy bastard. Um, and Darby Allen. I, I don't even know who wins this one. I'll save it for my preview and predictions. But I think this is going to be a really good match. 
Joey Janela has really impressed me. I love the uh, highlights of him jumping off that ladder with the Shawn Michaels like elbow. He kind of looked like Shawn too, right? Dude, I swear, like Joey's got star power, man. If he if he modifies his style, I think he can become a, at least a top mid card player. Yeah, he's gonna have to preserve that body if he wants that. <laughs> yeah, Joey, preserve yourself. Uh, we got Sean Spears with Tully Blanchard versus Cody. I like the Tully addition to this now. Tully had history with Dusty Rhodes. If you will, the American dream, baby. I know Cody doesn't want me doing that, but I had to. <laughs> um, I, I like the little addition of Tully Blanchard. Sean Spears has a little edge to him, and this adds to it a little bit more. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that uh, they brought Tully Blanchard in as a mouthpiece for uh, Sean Spears. As far as I know, he can actually he can talk, right? Yeah, I think this was done in another. Oh, he's more of a, it's more of an advisor role, I think. But not even. I think that this is a little tongue in cheek towards. So Tully, we can't talk to Tessa, but we could talk to you. <laughs> and I think that's where they're going with this a little bit. That's just me. Gave your dad a job. You want to come hang out with your dad? Your dad's got stuff to do over here as well. Come on over. But uh, th- that should be an amazing match. Moxley versus Omega. We. We've known since uh, Double or Nothing about that. I can't wait. That's going to be a really good one. Moxley's been tearing it up in the G1. They just released a new uh, Road to All um, Road to All Out. Mm-hmm. I guess Moxley cut a big promo on Omega. I didn't watch it yet. but Oh, it was good. It was good. I won't spoil it for you then. I'll keep quiet because I was going to bring that up. Uh, the Best Friends versus the Dark Order winner gets a first round buy in the tag team tournament. That good should be st- good. Good stuff. Actually, in our local area um, at Empire State Wrestling, shout out to you guys. Can can I get a sponsorship or free seats or something eventually with this? <laughs> uh, Trent Beretta and who is it? Um, Uno are going to be here, I think, for that show. Uh, I think Trent Beretta is facing the Blade, and I don't know who uh, Uno's facing yet. But that that's going to be a damn good tag match. Don't sleep on that one either. Oh, yeah. Triple A tag title match. For the uh, or I'm sorry, Triple A tag title ladder match, Lucha Bros versus the Young Bucks. Remember, they just changed it to a ladder of death, of death match. Whatever you want to call it, bro. I don't give a shit. It's going down. It's gonna be good. Um, what did you think of being the elite where they became the Lucha, <laughs> Lucha Bros? What was that? <laughs> Ignorance. Uh, it, it was, I think it's like their whole. You remember the whole thing they were doing with uh, Cody and Dustin? Yeah, they're just gonna make fun of people. Yeah, they're trying to get under their skin. Ignorance. Um, and then for the main event, we have the AEW World Championship, Chris Jericho, Adam Hangman, Page. Some people say it's too early for Page. Some people say Jericho's too old. Hangman's been getting a lot of hate lately. I don't think it's he deserves it. I don't think he deserves it, bro. Any man who rips out stitches from his forehead for a promo, you are a gangster, sir. Probably, they say, oh, he, he's boring. He can't wrestle. What are you watching? <laughs> and I have to take the opportunity to say this. A la horses. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it never gets old. But we still got a lot of matches that we can still add to this card. Uh, I'm looking forward to this show. Uh, yeah, it should be a good one. I, I, I see um, MJF getting involved in that Sean Spears Cody match. I, well, we're going to save that for, for the prediction. Yeah, show, I'll buddy. save it. Yeah, let's save it because our thought process could change. Before we get off of AEW, I wanted to go back to the TNT stuff real quick. I'm calling it now. NXT is going to counteract this. I think NXT is going to be on uh, Fox Sports One or something. There's going something's going to happen with NXT that they're going to have a show on now from uh, eight to ten on Wednesdays on Fox. See, if they go that route, though, I want them to merge both NXT brands together. Do like one hour regular NXT, one hour NXT UK. So it feels still feels like two separate shows. Do you think UK could draw enough though? Like, to be honest, if I have to choose between the two, I'm skipping UK before regular NXT. Oh, they have such good matches out there, though, man. UK's good, but I don't know. I just feel like they're not as polished, though. Like, I think Pete Dunne and those guys are I like the gritty feel of that show, though. Yeah. Listen, I'm a big fan of, um, what's Wolfgang's group called? No, I can't even Uh, think of it. Gallus. (laughs) Hey, That's my group, man. I love Gallus. Yeah. Yeah, they got some stuff, though. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. I agree with you, though. They should put UK and NXT together. I don't want the UK people to get, like, shat on kind of. I just don't want NXT to go to a two-hour show. A one-hour NXT event is fine. That's why I want them to keep it separate. Like, you know, one hour black and gold, one hour UK. And then when you do that, too, though, you're going to have to combine the takeovers then. Because how are you going to okay with that. Sh- how are you going to showcase? But that means less, though, for here, too. Some people aren't going to get the shine. You may not get a Matt Riddle match every time right now. See, but that's the, be- that's the beauty of NXT, though. You don't have to showcase everybody at one time. As long as you're building them up properly. 
Touche. Like, I still look forward to Keith Lee matches. He's barely on TV. Yeah, Keith Lee's the man, though. Matt Riddle. <laughs> Keith Lee versus Damian Priest tonight. We got to watch that. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of, uh, how do you say not Dominic Dajakovic? Yeah. He just got cleared. Oh, he's back? Yeah, he just wrestled at the last Can we event. please have him and Keith Lee fight again, please? Mm, I need that. <laughs> and and all that Evolve talk, I promise you guys that um, if you were listening, if I was on Brain Buster Radio last week, if I did have my child, you were going to get an Evolve review of that show. Watch the whole thing, finally. Um, I thought it was really good. I love that show, man. I, I, I don't agree with you that it was better. I think it was good. It was a good introduction to Evolve. I still miss kind of the uh, older competitors a little bit, yeah. but they're getting there. See, my, I, I didn't even want to compare the two shows, but they were happening at the same time, so you kind of have to. But I enjoy. it was a great great weekend for wrestling. Yeah, it's going to be a great one August 31st, I think, as well, because mm-hmm. I'm not sleeping on this NXT TakeOver stuff. Oh, and I'll be off. Uh, Rob, you know, what do you have next day. up on the docket here? Oh, we're going to switch over to ROH. <laughs> what do we got? Death Before Designer coming up next? Yep. Uh, what, what do you think of ROH's product real quick? Just Matt quick. Taven is still the champion. That's what I think of it. Damn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on for it, but um, right now they are having this big Death Before Dishonor pay-per-view event, and I don't know. Does it say where this is happening right now? Las Vegas. Ooh. Mm. At Sam's Town Live. In September, ROH seems like they haven't been able to sell out some of their larger venues recently. Do you think ROH is on the downturn? Are they? Oh done? yeah, they are. NWA has just cut off ties with them. That that is not good. I feel like they're going to be working more with all elite. You got the Cody connection with um Nick Aldis and Nick the match. Aldis, Billy Corgan. Uh, listen, I don't know what Billy Corgan's plan is. But I like what he's been doing with NWA. It, it's it's kind of old school feeling that the champ travels around. He goes to places. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's getting paid for it. I don't know how it works with that, but Man. I like it, though. It's pretty dope to have. If you're missing something on your card or you need that little oomph, call up Billy Corgan. And I'm sure he'll send Nick all this time around to uh, give you a sell-up. But what happens to PCO and um, Brody King now? as They're the NWA tag champs. The Ring of Honor relationship's done. Oh, are they assigned? They're not assigned exclusively yet, are they? I think so. I know Brody King's not. I think I think PCO and um Skrull are. Mm. And and there's a rematch supposedly for the title, wasn't there? Well, they'll be losing those soon, I believe. <sighs> we'll see what happens with it, but um that's it for Ring of Honor. L- let's talk about my man uh Sid missing the Raw reunion. Hurt my soul. <laughs> um yeah, I was kind of I was looking forward to hearing that song, but you know what though? It's the middle of softball season. Of course. Sid is a busy busy <laughs> man. <laughs> Um, it's just, I don't know, man. Well, according to Uncle Dave, he pulled out several days ago. I don't give a damn what this man has to say about anything right now. No, sir. <laughs> is, is it because of the Roman Reigns? I saw some breakdown in the group about that. Just in general, like, he's just a fucking douche. <laughs> Pardon my language. <laughs> Remind me to put the E on this afterwards. <laughs> <for explicit. laughs> um, yeah, we, we've talked about a, a lot of the stuff that's going on in the wrestling world. Um, I really don't think there's too much else for us to talk about. I kind of just wanted people to hear my voice, get back into it a little bit. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these episodes right now. Right now, my plan is to probably do some quick hitter episodes on Wednesday still. Even maybe Tuesday night you'll get it. But um, quick one-two punch episodes, 10 to 15 minutes perhaps. And then Saturday's Brain Buster Radio, that's when you guys are going to have to tune in to listen to the big show. Yeah, whatever the kid per, uh, permits. <laughs> the intern. The intern. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Intern Conrad. You darn right. You may hear him in the background. He will be referred to as the intern. We'll keep it up with that. But um, I have to sh- give a big shout out to everybody who shows love, support, whether you're part of the Facebook group, um, any of the other groups. I appreciate you guys, man. Uh this episode is pretty much dedicated to you. Shout out to Rob. Rob actually hooks us up with a lot of stuff. He takes care of things when I'm not around. And I wouldn't trust anyone else with the show but him. So thank you for that, good sir. Oh, you got it, man. No doubt. <laughs> uh, other than that, guys, leave your feedback. If you haven't, try to leave me a uh, review on however you listen to this. Hopefully it's a five-star review. Um, other than that, guys, I'm out, man. We're about to get some pizza. Hopefully watch some NXT. And uh, chill out for the rest of the night. Sound like a plan. All right, guys, we're out. Peace. Peace.
Thank you.